Okay. All right. Are we firing from all cylinders today? Let me check. All right, so it seems. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to an episode of Hmm. The lab. Yeah, let me see. Let me see if I could kick start things up with this thing. So, today we are playing Mortal Kombat 9, or rather just Mortal Kombat, the reboot. Uh, there is a there is a spot in my heart for this game that is very very honorable. <laughs> this game though. This this is a very good game. I like the roster. I like the uh um the arenas. Of course, this is the Mortal Kombat where the um how do you call it the X-rays were introduced. I just like the style of this Mortal Kombat. I really do. I remember when it came out. Uh first time I played it on the PS3 along with Cage over there, the demo, and um, I, of course I whooped his ass like in every Mortal Kombat game. And I remember, man, like we, we actually like, well, at, at the very least me, I actually enjoyed the, contr the, the controllers, the combos. I enjoyed like a lot of the, the old school type of things, right? That I fell in love with when it came to Mortal Kombat. I kind of found myself I don't know, somewhat like reminiscing of those things while playing the game. I think that's a good thing. I will really, I, I believe it's a good thing. So from that point on, I don't know if it if it if it was the nostalgia trip or what exactly, but the game actually became a why well, you know one of those favorite games. But here's one thing though. <laughs> Never really finished the story mode. And my data got jacked up. It actually got deleted. So, I figure, you know what, let me bring this game to this stuff. Let me see if I could actually uh, pull myself through and just um, complete this story mode. Not in this video, of course. But let me see where that takes me. So, we're playing story mode, actually. Let's dive in into this campaign with a K. And um, see what awaits us. If you uh, have not played the game, sit down and enjoy this. I am not an, ad, uh, an avid... Mortal Kombat lore uh, type of person. I do know a few things here and there, not 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 as much as as a lot of uh, other Mortal Kombat centric YouTubers, but you know it's enough to keep me going. So let's go. <laughs> as if you could play story mode with two players. Sure, what is this? Oh me. wait a minute. You know me. All right, so I actually did started this you thing. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> Classic. Let me see if I remember from this thing. Looks weird. I've got two sets of readings. All right. So, if you have watched the movies, right? Uh, these guys, they're on Shan Song's island, and they're competing in the in the in the tournament of Mortal Kombat. Now, Raiden over here. Uh, he has been having these these psychedelic type visions of uh, the world practically coming to an end, and Shao Kahn coming in and uh, taking the reign. So he has, he's actually devised a little plan to you know of course have everybody compete in the Mortal Kombat tournament like before, but he will actually go in and interact with certain individuals to alter the but change in in, 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 in this outcome of the tournament and we're here actually we're we're here in this part we, should separate. Our fellow Lin Kuei will not we are here in this part Jax was jacked up or was it Tony I think she was jacked up I came in I rescued her and now I'm with Sub-Zero and uh who's this I think I think this is Smoke yeah and Smoke Sub-Zero and Smoke uh, if he, uh huh. So right now he's just learning about Scorpion and all that. With of course Scorpy being filled with rage that never gets old after Sub Zero over here. So yeah, excuse the prior interruption. Of course. 
was foolish to send this of course to interfere with Lin Kuei business. I am Kitana, Princess of Outworld, and I deal harshly with sharp tongued intruders. This was really the first time Fight. when they actually exercised this smooth transitions. Whoa, Gonyo. Come on, bitch. Come on, bitch. Alright, let me actually get familiar with this move list. <laughs> Alright, so right now we're gonna whip Kitana's ass. And we're gonna keep it going. Yeah? There you go. Mm? Come on now. There you go. Come on now. Come on now. I'm trying to do a special move there, but I can't. Just because of my lack of uh, understanding when it came uh, when it comes to this. Just gonna keep it simple. Whoa! Holy shit! So much for that. Okay. So one of the things with this uh, x-ray thing, well, one of my gripes, I guess, is that, you know, these x-rays, they look brutal. They're supposed to be just, just completely devastating, but uh, they're not, actually. I mean, you know, in terms of fighting game play, I mean, it, it, it is what it is, why? But they more or less almost feel like borderline fatalities so whenever you do an x-ray and your opponent gets up like nothing happened it kinda takes you away from the from the immersion at least to me because you know these x-rays they're, they're almost set up to be finishing moves So, yeah. Let's see. Shake is that. Okay. Okay, good. That move never really... I mean, you know, don't really see much usefulness in there. Whoa, holy shit. Come on now. Play cheap. There you go. There you go. Ah, coño. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> oh man. It's it's really been a while. It's really been a while. To those to, to those of you that know, <laughs> right now you you're probably just just cringing at the screen like this fucking noob. <laughs> Look at, look at this. Plus, Smoke is just one of those guys where he's like, I never really play with him. Pause. Ah, going on. So it's like, it, it's a little foreign to me. Wow, incredible, huh? Alright, Kitana. Fucking Kitana. She's gonna whip me. Okay. So. <laughs> she is going to whip me, isn't she? I'm gonna have to cheese. I'm, oh shit! All right, focus mode. This fucking bitch. Gonna have 
to just play aggressively or some shit like that. That move, that move, like, that move reminds me of something from Mortal Kombat, maybe Armageddon or some shit like that. Like, when he does that throw and then he uh, puts his arm up, let me see if I can do it. Like, come on. Whoa. Okay, I'm not gonna do it, but it reminds me of one of these things from Armageddon. Which, by the way, that's, that's that's like the best Mortal Kombat, to be honest. Like, for what it was, they, they did a good job. If uh, I do believe that if they ever remaster, uh, not remaster, but remake that game, um, things will, of course, be different. But for what it was at the time, they did a great job. They really did. Added a shit ton of characters. Hmm, there it is. Shit ton of characters. And, um. Uh, wow. And, um. Yeah. I did a shit ton of characters. Damn it. And. I did a conquest mode. And I did a mini game mode. And then I did create your character. And I believe that had an online mode too. Which is just jam packed full of things. <laughs> yeah, that shit should that shit should have should have been a moment. <laughs> nice. Nice. Yes, yes, there is. Just like the bio mutant narrator, saying painfully obvious things. Sleep well. Night, night. Night, night. <laughs> of course, we got Kano there. Well, let me get this straight, though. Are they just there, just chilling, having fun? Shan Song is just there, throwing a few rocket launches. Along with Kano, it's just like, you know, kind of like a, like a beer me type of moment. Huh. I'll take care of him. No I would have appreciated if, if this One Shansung would, would have looked like the, uh, like the Mortal Kombat 2 Run. Shansung. I always thought that Shansung had like some kind of monkey friend. <laughs> Small monkey friend going around, you know, like one of those guys that that like play the fruit, the flute, and then they have like the snake uh, dancing or some shit like that. <laughs> I always thought Shansung would be that kind, that kind of character when I first saw him, but yeah, severely mistaken. All right, Kano, let me whoop your ass now. Come on, Kano. Where there's smoke, there's fire. Oh, oh, okay, okay, all right, all right, I'm sorry. He kind of did like the whole Homer Simpson shit. Oh my goodness. There you go. Finally. Connected with that shit. See, he's supposed to be quite dead. You see that? His skull is broken. Yeah, stay down, but he doesn't really. Whoa! Holy shit. Mm, come on now. Mm, come on now. <laughs> Hilarious. Kind of, kind of like a beach ball. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, beautiful, man! I love that kick. That shit throws him, <laughs> throws him all the way. Hmm. Whoa. Oh, that's one thing too, and the music in this game. I like the music though. However, the Armageddon and Deception Mortal Kombat, they have the absolute best music out of any Mortal Kombat. I don't give a shit what you say. Why? Because it fits the theme perfectly. 
it fits the theme perfectly, man. Mortal Kombat, kind, you know, kind of like a like this Asian um, mythical martial art slash. I don't know, like like the music encompasses. In, in, okay, so the music encompasses that perfectly. It did. It really did. Like you're like you're able to tell when Mortal Kombat music is actually playing. You know when Mortal Kombat music is Mortal Kombat music. Um, this I believe this game was the actual last stretch when it came to that. After that, Mortal Kombat 10, 11, then one. Right now it's like, uh, then you know what I mean. I kind of did an, uh, an experiment where I listened to the music and it's like I didn't know it by the way. I just I just put it on there and then I was uh, like I sat down and I was like, you know what? Like, is this is this actually Mortal Kombat music? Like, what happened to that style? Like, what are they trying to convey with the music? Because the music does tell something as well, you know. The audio has a story as well. Bitch, bitch, slap that man. Ooh. Mm. Mm -mm. Come on now. Mm -mm -mm. I wonder, like, whoever knows how to speak uh, um, some kind of Asian language, Chinese, Japanese, traditional, whatever it is, what do these guys actually be saying? I remember, like, the whole raiding shit. And, uh. Oh. And then Sub Zero, like what are these things? What do they actually say? What like 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 what are they actually trying to to, to communicate? It's funny, man. It's I always thought that was funny. Hmm. Ah, ah, damn it! I missed my chance. Hmm. Beautiful. Wow, holy shit. Uh. Mm. There you go. Got him. Oh, damn. I thought I was the last one. Damn it. Reptile is actually pretty good at this game. He's not that bad at all. <laughs> Whoa. Mm -hmm. There you go. Damn it. Ah. Mm. Mm. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what? Com uh, um, did, did, oh shit, this guy. Smokes combos are easy. I like that. Whoa. What's the actual benefit of this shit? I can still see you though. Maybe to like disorient or something. Wow. There you go. Got this motherfucker. See? Bam. Supposed to be dead. Whoa. Ah. Ah. Damn it. Round three. Fight. <laughs> Anyways, there's just something about this fucking game that I like, okay? It it, it feels good. That that's what it is. It feels good. The like the actual combat just feels tight. Wait, let me actually look at my moves over here. I'm crippling myself. Uh huh. Wow, man. You know what? Looking at it from here, that's very annoying. Ooh, boy. See? Look at that. Annoying as hell. Sub Zero. Damn it. 
Ah, you two, you got the same shit, huh? Wow. How am I losing to this one, huh? Ah, fuck. Wow. Alright, fuck that. Oh. <laughs> Alright, well, still learning, still uh, um, getting back into it. Kind of like a rough patch right there because it's been years since I've played this game and I thought my save that I got deleted, which I, I, I know it did. I know it did somewhat. Maybe at some point I restarted this thing and um, I decided to play it. But man, that, that was a long, long time ago. Wow, man, that's annoying. Ah. Mm. Damn it. Wow. There you go. I'm officially not good with smoke. <laughs> I'm officially not good with smoke, man. Yep, there it is. Start doing more of that. Ooh, nice. Alright. 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 You know, I'm just realizing something. It is a lot harder to talk, to do commentary while I'm getting your um, mask kicked. It really is. Like it's, a, it's like the nature of it is. You start talking, right? You, like you, you start talking, and then it's like there's a disconnect in between what you're doing. <laughs> Look at this bastard. How slick that was, huh? Wow. You know what I miss, though? I miss the parries from Armageddon. <laughs> I really do miss the parries from Armageddon. Bitch. Ooh, I, I walked right into that one. Come on. Wow. Yo, come on, man. Get your ass over here. He's, 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 he's being very cautious. Damn it. Bitch. Hmm? That would have been my ass right there. Bitch. Wow. 
wow. Adam. Walk right into that shit. There you go, man. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do this today. Okay, <laughs> we are going to do this today. All right. All right. Wow. We are going to do this today. Come on now. Man, these guys play very cautiously. I fucking hate this. You know, bitch slap zero right in the face. There you go, bitch slap zero right in the face. Bitch lap zero right in the face. I'm gonna cheese. I'm gonna cheese this shit. Mm, coño. Come on. Mm, coño. Come on now. Whoa. Oh, I'm motherfucker. Thing around in the face. Holy shit, that was a good one though. Mm, wow, that was a good one. Man, that was a good one. And uh, <laughs> boy, oh boy. I'm gonna have to play cautiously. Oh, you see the trick? Gonya, Gonya, come on. Yeah, you better change, bitch. I was murdering you right there. Mm. Wow, that was a good one. Wow. Okay, these guys are playing smart now. They are playing smart now. Ah, motherfucker. Mm, coño. Mm, coño. Come on now. Come on now. 
bitch. All right, I got excited there. So, yeah. What do you know of Sub Zero? Man, that took me a while. What? Damn. <laughs> I do not remember Sector having some kind of predator um, camouflage. That's new. Yes, of course. More dead. So the only thing <laughs> I like how um, you know hitting sector or any of the cyber uh, cyber robots, it just makes it sound like a tin can. <laughs> See, this fight is a lot easier than, than these other guys. Ah. Mm. Wow. Bitch. Alright. Oh, good one. Mm, coño. Nice. Mm. Mm. Wow, holy shit. Mm. 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 Man, that was close. All right. See, a lot easier than 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 a reptile and a Shan Song. Man, what a bad matchup that was. <laughs> that really was a bad matchup. Who the hell is this? Okay. There goes Raiden. Yes, yes. There's a disturbance in the force. Yes. See, here it is. That psychedelic induced vision. They must not take it. See, I think that was a very good thing that, that they did with the um you know with the raiding vision stuff like that. However, from what I remember, uh Raiden was kind of messing up a lot. <laughs> Which is like damn man, I, I thought Raiden would, would would hold somewhat of a more um I don't know, more more of like a mystique around him. You know? For some reason, Raiden always felt, like when they started doing voices, like Raiden felt stale. Like action figure type stale. The Grandmaster intends to turn every Lin Kuei into a cyborg. My friend is in danger. The tournament. I have a feeling your friend will be there. Then let us go. Chapter sub eight, zero. sub motherfucking zero, my boy. Okay, so wow, we're we're like damn near thirty-five minutes in. I think this will be a great chapter to just stop it right here. I thought we will be starting this whole thing, but uh, doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it. So I'm just gonna keep it going from here, man. I'm just gonna straight up keep it going from here. This is a very cool stage. I like the, the 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 tentacles in the background. This was that stage from Mortal Kombat 3. This is the Soul Chamber. That's supposed to be like a Motaro phase. But anyways, I'm out. Let me go to the main menu. Ah, uh, yeah. I think I think I might do this though. Um, uh, maybe not in every single video, in every single occasion. But when I do, it's gonna be a continuation. This is very good. Anyways, so catch you next time. Peace out. Peace out. This has been the lab.